questions. Um, first question comes from Pichao Sadak from your IGO position. I would like for you to talk a little bit about what happened on Haven. You ended up playing the attack more defensively. Did you bet on it knowing it was a strong map for Team Secret or the execution of the composition went wrong? I think it's our plan was just wrong against them. They were playing a little much, a little bit too aggressive for us. So we kind of didn't ex expect that. Uh, but yeah, I think they, they play actually really well on that map. Uh, we went into it thinking we, we could beat them, of course. Uh, but they surprised us. Uh, yeah, happens. Thank you. Next question comes from Upcomer. Was there any extra pressure from the match since you guys were the last Brazilian team left in the tournament? Uh, not at all. Because for us, we just keep playing game after game. Like, it's how last game you know it, it it didn't get that heavy for us after evil lost uh for us it was just okay guys let's just play this game against gambit let's just play this game against team secret let's just go round by round and yeah put ourselves out there you know so no thank you next question also from upcomer do you think anything changed for you and the other Brazilian teams from the first days of the tournament where you all outperformed expectations to the final days? I think it's more because they adapted to our playstyle. Uh, it became more um, less surprise, right? Because they, they saw how we play. Um, we kind of struggled against uh, aggressive teams because it's more like it's more fast in a way and we can we can play really well against that. So I think Team Secret really abused that really well, so for sure. Thank you. We will now open the floor for questions from the room. If you have any questions, please use the Zoom hand raise feature and I will call on you. First question from One Tap Valorant. Hey man, just wanted to say you started the tournament off brilliantly with a 2-0 win against Crazy Raccoons and then you almost took Gambit. Uh, you know, you took a map of Gambit, almost won the, in the series. You know, there's a lot of positives to take from this tournament. Like, what's next for you and your teammates' in the future? Like, what's the plan for next year? Uh, we haven't discussed that yet uh, because we're just focusing here on the present. So I don't have an answer. But I think all of us are going to keep playing Valorant for sure. Uh, all of us are going to try our best next year. Uh, yeah, and try to keep our, our steps up for next year. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Next question from Valorant Zone. Olá, Sadi Hack, tudo bem? E aí? É, cara, esse é o terceiro evento internacional é, que nenhum time brasileiro passa para os playoffs, né? É, por mais que tenha tido uma evolução né, de, da Islândia, também de Berlim da última vez, é, mas dessa vez também a gente não conseguiu passar para os playoffs. Você não acha que está na hora de repensar o cenário como um todo? E você acha que alguma coisa precisa de mudar? Uh, should I answer in English or can I answer in português? Uh, either is fine. Either is fine, ok. Uh, cara, eu acho que a coisa vai mudar. É óbvio que vai mudar as coisas. Pelo simples fato que todo mundo entendeu o jogo de outro jeito, todo mundo evoluiu muito como jogador, como pessoa, o time que vinha aqui, né? É, obviamente que vai mudar o jogo, e vai ser só para melhor, não vai ser nunca para pior. É, eu acho que a galera está acostumada que as coisas sejam rápidas, e não que todo tem um processo, todo tem um tempo, sabe? Então, nosso tempo agora não é esse. Nosso tempo é o momento de aprender, de apanhar, querendo ou não, né? Temos que apanhar. É, mas tenho certeza que o próximo ano vai ser nosso ano. Fica assim. Tá bom, obrigado. Obrigado. Thank you. Next question from Jinx Esports. I want to know what do you and your team takes from this experience after being one of the one one of three Barcelona teams in there. Uh, what we take from this is that we have actually the capability of being one of the best teams here. For sure, uh, it's really hard from where we came from to practice to have good screams to have good mentality, right? And all of that here is is really different because when we when we see, when we train here when we scream here, uh, we actually can practice, right? And we take a lot of knowledge from here and we take it to our region. So yeah, all of that. Thank you. Next question from upcomer. 
Hi. Um, I was just wondering where exactly you would rank Brazil in terms of other regions, as in like um, EU is the best because they have four teams in knockouts or anything like that. So if you are asking for ranking, I don't really know. I think we are pretty close to to the Japanese one, uh, but I think next year is going to change, either for us or for them. Uh, I think we have the potential to be one of the best regions as happened in other FPS games, right? But as for, to, for today, I think we're pretty in the same level as the, the Japanese scene. A little bit better, I think. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Next question from One Tap Valorant. Um, would you say that there's a difference in uh, quality of scrims and quality, or just in the game in general in Europe? Should we like expect to see like regions like Brazil and other regions coming to Europe for boot camps in preparations ahead of tournaments? Or for sure, for sure. I think the, the future is going to be just boot camps in in Europe all of the of the year. it's like uh, EU right now is the best the best region. So why wouldn't be boot camp in there, right? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Next question from Pichao. É, bom dia, Sadhak, tudo bem? Bom dia. É, eu queria saber mais sobre a questão do bootcamp que vocês fizeram, né? Que a gente tem jogadores individuais muito bons aqui no Brasil, alguns melhores do mundo nas suas funções. É, e dado o seu tempo no bootcamp com a Team Vikings, eu queria saber o que, que você acha que falta coletivamente como equipe para o Brasil se tornar uma região maior do que é hoje? Cara, eu acho que o que a gente precisa é um pouco mais de profissionalismo e seriedade na hora de treinar. É, eu acho que também a galera tem que começar a estudar o jogo. É muito importante começar a estudar o jogo, porque não é simplesmente entrar no servidor e dar bala. Porque todo mundo aqui é muito bom, todo mundo aqui é muito colado, todo mundo aqui são os melhores do mundo. Então, o diferencial é a parte tática, como que os caras veem o jogo, o que, que dá para que que fazer, adaptação, é, resposta rápida, sabe? Então, acho que para melhorar nessa, nessa parte da região, a gente tem que focar um pouco mais em tudo isso. Thank you. Next question from Jinx Esports. What do you think all teams most improve in order to get to um, better results or to the next stage? I think it's the tactical part for sure, because most of the teams show that they have a great individual performance, but they lack the knowledge of the game. Same as Brazil, uh, as our region, right? Uh, so yeah, I think if all of the teams start learning more about the game, start thinking of the game, how should we play, what, uh, what is the best uh, way to play the game, right? They're going to just go up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next question from OneTap Valorant. Obviously, Team Secret have had a great underdog story in the tournament. How far do you think they can go, and just based on individual skill and team skill in general? Uh, they play against Ascent, right? Yes, they do, in the next stage. Okay. I think if they play their game, they should be able to have a great chance against them. But after that, I don't really know. Uh, I think they, they have a really good Valorant, but they depend a little bit on being too much aggressive, right? And against those EU teams, if they adapt to your aggressiveness, it's going to be the end of you, right? If you don't have to, if you don't know how to play other, other play styles. Of course. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other questions? Yes, one tap Valorant. A just last question, sorry. I was just going to ask uh, if you could, you know, relay one message to uh, Brazilians from home watching and supporting and uh, that were following your journey throughout the tournament, what, what would you tell, say to them? I would say like, thank you guys so much for the for the support, for the love. Uh, we know, like, we, we know you all have these big expectations from us, but it is what it is. Losing is part of win for sure. And just keep an eye out for the next year. We are coming back stronger, faster, uh, <laughs> and better, right? So yeah, thank you for the love and let's go. Thank you very much. Um, are there any further questions? No? OK, 
Okay, I think that is all the time we have with Sadak today. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you everyone in the room. We will be back with our second scrum momentarily.